Okay, as of next year, 2014, it will be illegal in the United States to use a PFOA chemical in the process of making a nonstick fry pan. What that means to us is we had to redo how we put our nonstick coatings on our fry pans. We had to buy a whole new piece of equipment. It's a very big, expensive oven and <coughs> redo the process of adhering the nonstick coating. That also gave us the opportunity to change some confusion in the marketplace. When Volrath bought Lincoln Wherever, which were the two biggest fry pan manufacturers in the United States, we had suddenly 42 different 10 inch fry pans. So, so many different coatings and so many different handles from so many different things. We narrowed it down now. We have three coatings. We've gone to a good, better, best, just to try to make it a little bit simpler, and three different handles. So, now to, to narrow down what fry pan is the best for your customer, you have when it comes to aluminum. We can go into stainless and then we get back closer up to that 40 again. But you've got the silicone, and then you've got the um, add on cool touch handle, and then you've got just a chrome plate. This one's great if you've got a customer that doesn't have a lot of money and they're not going to take it over, say, 400 degrees, omelet station, light duty use, they're always going to use plastic utensils, that kind of stuff. Why pay $40 for a pan when you can get something that will probably do just fine for that application for $20 or $24? Then the steel coat, which was Volrath's best pan that always fought against Ceramigard from Lincoln. Those are always the fighting who's better, who better, they're better. Steel coat has bits of steel mixed in with the nonstick coating so that when the steel knife or the utensil starts digging into it, it hits those bits of steel and protects the nonstick coating, makes it last a lot longer. Good to a higher temperature rating. And then the ceramic guard, instead of bits of steel, has bits of ceramic. So best, because ceramic is more dense than steel. Then good, or best, better, and then good for the cover coat. And pricing will climb as you go through them. Uh, the handles are a personal preference thing. These never come off. These will wear out and come off. Good and bad. As these dry out, they'll start to get loose, and then you got to buy a new one for five dollars and put a new one on. So that's the bad about these. But you can replace them, so that's the good. The bad about these is if the flame ever like it gets bumped over the flame of the next unit, or it's a little too close, these will melt and drip, and you can't replace them. Then the whole pan has to go. But a professional chef, trained chef, will always have that hot rag on his hip, and they'll use the curl. Questions about those? The redoing the new coating so that we don't have to use the PFOA in the building process on them does make them about 20% stronger. Mm -hmm.